Have you ever noticed that, with a few notable exceptions, basically all zombie characters in video games fall into a handful of cliches and stereotypes? Hi, my name's <laughs> Fitz Thistlewitz, and I make shitty videos on YouTube. I'm also an avid supporter of the undead, one of the more marginalised and often forgotten groups in our sick, oppressive, patriarchal society. Many games tend to reinforce and amplify disparaging and downright necrophobic ideas about zombies. In this particular project, which I'm calling Tropes vs Zombies vs Alien vs Predator, I'm going to create a series of five videos that both look at and bitch about the most common and most stereotypical representations of zombies in games. Video games, although lame and for nerds, actually help with teamwork, hand-eye coordination, etc, blah blah blah. They're also in at the moment, which makes me angry because they don't pander to my weird, obscure, and ultimately unprofitable tastes. Trigger warning! This new video series will primarily focus on tracking five stereotypical representations of zombies throughout the history of video games. I'm going to look at the evil ghoul, the cannon fodder, the sexy spug, the crew crew, the Nazi, the sexy Nazi, and who could forget the fog woggler. When I was studying necromancy at the University of Bolton, I realized that many people do not even realize that zombies exist, let alone consider that they might have feelings. I mean, they don't, but the point is, people don't even stop to think about it. Literally, kajillions of children around the world are being taught to hate and fear their zombie brethren, and to even derive pleasure from destroying the poor, soulless creatures. I won't stand idly by whilst total strangers have fun playing computer games that make me uncomfortable. No sorry, not on my watch. I'm going to whine and whine until the whole goddamn industry capitulates. But I can't do it alone. I need your money, and I need it now. My haircut is becoming dangerously unfashionable. Also, I recently spilt a frappuccino onto my new skinny jeans whilst drunk. Until these crises are averted, I simply cannot continue to make the videos that I have been making for the past year. Also, even if you do give me the money, I might just swan around for six months doing fuck all. Send $100, and I will give you a brain.